Vinicius Jr. is the best player in the world. Well, not yet. Today we're going to take over the young Brazilian's career to see if we can win him the Ballon d'Or. We will need 3 trophies and at least 35 goal contributions to get there. So let's get into it and find out if I can win Vinicius Jr. the Ballon d'Or in one season. Our first game of the season would be against Eintracht Frankfurt and it would be a good opportunity for us to grab our first trophy of the season which would be a perfect way to start off this challenge. We would score the decisive goal in the 70th minute as we assisted Karim Benzema for him to volley at home with power. That is trophy number one already in the bag. The La Liga season starts against UD Almeida and we take advantage of our weaker opponents by scoring a couple of goals, putting in a good performance and increasing our ranking into becoming the Ballon d'Or winner by the end of the next season. Our next endeavour would be against Barcelona at the Santiago Bernabeu for our first El Clasico of the challenge. We unfortunately had a below average performance and that caused Carlo Angelotti to be very mad at us. And we almost lost the game because of it but thankfully we were able to rely on our teammate Rodrigo to score the decisive goal and win us El Clasico. But if we keep having performances like this, we're definitely not going to win the Ballon d'Or. We're on international break now against Brazil's biggest rivals Argentina, knowing that if we put in a great performance it would increase our Ballon d'Or stock drastically. So that's exactly what we did, scoring a hat-trick against Brazil's biggest rivals in one of the bigger games of our international calendar. Celebrations don't last long however as shortly after our international break and great performances we'd have to go back to Real Madrid to play in the Champions League. And it seemed like our trip to Brazil didn't fix anything for our club form as once more we would underperform against Real Madrid missing very important chances to take the lead and eventually RB Leipzig took advantage of our poor finishing by scoring two goals in the second half and putting us on the back foot where we were unable to complete the comeback but we as Vinicius Jr were able to pick up one more goal to add to our goal contributions tally for the season. Our problems in Europe would continue as in the next game of our group stages we'd lose 1-0 against Celtic, meaning that we'd have to beat Shakhtar Donetsk very convincingly to keep our Champions League hopes alive. And that is exactly what we did, putting in an impressive performance as a team and being able to thrash our opponent on our way to the first victory of our group stage endeavour. This meant that we started off November in perfect fashion but the month didn't end so well. Heading into December, we were first in the Liga by 3 points and in the Champions League, the group was looking very dangerous. This meant that if we lost or drew our next game, there's a high possibility that we would not make it into the round of 16 and our Ballon d'Or hopes would be crushed. Heading into this game, we knew that we needed to pick up a good result, more specifically a win. Because we knew that if we get knocked out of the Champions League in the group stages, our chances of winning the Ballon d'Or are pretty slim even if we win the rest of the trophies at hand. But thankfully it seems like Vinicius is very good at handling pressure when he has to and we walk away with the 3 points but our opponent in the round of 16 will definitely prove to be a difficult one. It was time for our classical once again but this time a trophy was on the line. Barcelona started things off on quite the wrong foot as Pedri got a red card in the first 2 minutes. And from that point we took control of the match taking shot after shot and being the dominant force in this game but Ter Stegen was not easy to beat. And eventually the game remained tied at 0-0 with even Barcelona finding their way towards our net around the 60th minute. But thanks to a clever run from Vinicius and a moment of matchup between Vinicius and Benzema, Vinicius was able to put it past Ter Stegen and we won the game 1-0. You can consider that another trophy in the bag. We drew an on-form Liverpool in the Champions League and a Liverpool with Mohamed Salah who is challenging for the Ballon d'Or as well. In fact, he has two more goals than us and is in a Carabao Cup final. So knocking Liverpool out would definitely increase our chances of becoming the best player in the world. This game against Liverpool would be far from a walk in the park. With their defence and specifically their goalkeeper Alisson Becker being on top form, it made it difficult for us to find the back of Liverpool's net. 
and this frustrated the Real Madrid players and me specifically after Benzema missed such an easy header after an amazing cross from us but we moved on we tried to open up Liverpool once more in fact we were doing it a lot more but once we got into the final touch areas Alisson turned into prime Manuel Neuer pulling off some downright unbelievable and shocking saves and this meant that we could not even score a goal in our first leg which was our home leg and this put worry into the Real Madrid players and specifically into us because we know what happens when you face Liverpool at Anfield the pressure was back on because we knew that that Liverpool game stood between us and the Ballon d'Or The stakes are high heading into this match and the nerves were definitely high as well considering that Liverpool almost scored in the first 20 minutes but then we decided to answer back in the 30th minute by actually finishing off one of our chances and before you ask me how this went in well I don't know either weird goalkeeping aside we continue to be on the front foot like we were at the Santiago Bernabeu and heading into halftime we're in a pretty comfortable position Early in the second half, Vinicius Jr. was carrying the ball forward once more, this time to assist Rodri who put it deep into that top left hand corner to seal the deal at Anfield. And just like that, we make it through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League and we knock out Mohamed Salah, someone who could have won the Ballon d'Or if we slipped up. Later on in the month, we'd face off against AC Milan in the quarterfinals. This game started off in exciting fashion with AC Milan being the ones to score the first goal through an Alvaro Morata header. But when Benzema and Vinicius are on the attack, they connect pretty well and we did so to equalize. But then after that, Marquinhos decided to be a 64 rated centre back and he sold Real Madrid's Champions League soul to AC Milan. But yeah, legit, no joke, Marquinhos actually sold in this game. Legit gave the ball away twice, the first time led to an immediate goal but the second time led to a corner where AC Milan did not score by a header but they still ended up scoring after the corner. So Marquinhos by the 0.018% chance that you're actually watching this video, you're a fraud in FIFA. Well anyways, after Agent Marquinhos accomplished his mission, we were able to grab one more goal to give us a chance heading into the second leg. But we're back in this situation again, knowing that our Ballon d'Or hopes could die right here, right now. We need to beat AC Milan to continue the challenge. But the question is, can we do it? it's time for the Champions League semi-final and if you thought Liverpool and Milan were hard well wait till you see who we get for the semi-finals Man City would be the next obstacle in our path to the Champions League final and what an obstacle it would be two of the best teams in the world doing battle and two of the best players in the world right now in Vinicius and Haaland doing battle as well. It would not be easy. So this is it, the Champions League final, another El Clasico, but this one means more. Considering that we lost La Liga, we needed to win this Champions League final if we as Vinicius Junior wanted that Ballon d'Or. 
on everything that we can up until this point. But now we have to pull our weight one more time. Maybe score one more goal. Benzema kicks us off for one last time. The game had a quick start with Barcelona on the attack. It was looking dangerous but our defense remained solid and they took care of the first attack from Barcelona. Barcelona would attack again and this time they were close to scoring but thankfully Marquinhos was there to save the day. Not long after that we were on the attack. We passed the ball to Modric but the best he could do was hit the post. That was painful to witness as we knew that that could probably be the best opportunity we could get in this entire game to take the lead. It was now half time and those nerves came back. We were so close to our goal. Surely we couldn't lose it now. We went back out into the second half on the front foot trying everything we could to break through the Barcelona defense. But nothing would work. Barcelona gave us a scare when Dembele put the ball on his left foot and almost killed it past Courtois. Then one more opportunity came for us. Rodrigo got the ball, we ran into the box, he crossed it in. So anyways, uh, click here to see me break the Premier League goal scoring record. Well, if you haven't left yet, why didn't you? There's a video on screen. But anyways, no, 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 you can stay. You can stay. Just want to say thank you for watching. If you're subscribed, thank you for being a part of the community. You're the reason I do this week in, week out. And if you're not subscribed, why not subscribe? Join on in. After that said, now you can go on to the next video. I'll see you there.